Hey y'all, super excited to see you. It's been a minute. Um, this is gonna be a quick all levels class just to reset the body, um, get the body moving, get the prana flowing. Um, so we'll get started in child's pose. Knees together, the low back's tight, our knees wide, arms forward, but the elbows bend so the shoulders relax, forehead to the earth, eyes closed, drawing the awareness to your inner landscape. Let your jawline relax. Feel the energy of the earth under your palms, and your shins, and the tops of your feet, your forearms and elbows. And then the awareness to the third eye, this place of discernment, of awareness, of intuition. And take a full breath in through the nose. Exhale, gentle sigh. Twice more, just like this. Exhale, grounding the body. Inhales, generating space. Exhales, releasing. Palms together like a prayer. Bend the elbows, thumbs to the nape of the neck. Scoot the elbows slightly forward, lengthening through the upper arms, creating space in the shoulders. And at the same time, visualize bowing down in front of your highest self. The self that knows, that trusts, that hopes, that discerns. And may this practice be devoted to that being, capital S self. We lower the palms down to the earth, tuning in our awareness to that wisdom that dwells within us. As you're ready, lift your forehead, walk your hands way off to the right, reach through the left palm, breathe slow and deep into the left side body. In and out through the nose, beckoning awareness of ujjayi breath, cultivating warmth and heat with the intentionality in the breath. Through center, and then take it to the left, reaching wide and long through the right palm. Can you delight in the space that you're making in your beautiful vessel, this body? What a gift, what a mystery to experience life as a human being. Back through center, hands wide as the shoulders, tabletop, fingers spread wide. Pull the navel in, cow pose, lift the chest. Exhale, navel and round the spine. And just like that, belly down, heart forward and through, pressing through the fingertips, eyes to the eyebrow. Exhale, navel in, push the earth away. Twice more, your breath. Make your breath with the movement of your body. In this way, we cultivate the awareness of yoga, the root word, huge, or union. Union with the self, from the thinking mind to the feeling body. Right arm to the sky, open up. Rotate your right wrist, circle out the right arm three times, opening up chest and shoulder, the space of the heart. Exhale, thread and hover, reach underneath, hug the navel in Uddiyana Bandha, and inhale, open up, right into it. Exhale, navel to spine, reach. Yeah, one more. So in this, we're generating mobility in the upper spine, land the shoulder. Now this time, press through the left palm to aim to stack your left shoulder on top of the right. Breathe deeply as if you could feel the spaces between the ribs generating more space. Ground the left palm, unwind, right arm to the sky. Sweep it back, down, tabletop. Another side, inhale, left arm lifts, opening up, grounded and expanding, rotating through the wrists, soft jaw, big sweeping circles with the left arm. Yeah, so moving any stagnant energy out of the shoulders, out of the arms, your day, your week, from the year, and thread and hover. Navel in. Mm -hmm. Inhale, open up. Use the breath. Exhale, thread. Hovering still. Inhale to the sky. Exhale, thread. Land the left shoulder. Soften the cheek. Press through the right palm. Deepen the twist. Breathe through the nose. Soft jaw. Right hand plants, unwind, left arm to the sky. Sweep it back down, tabletop. Gentle puppy pose, arms go forward and wide. 
Lower the heart towards the earth, the forehead or chin might rest. Bend the elbows if there's tightness in the shoulders. Slide back towards your shins, hips to heels. Sit on the shins, knees together. Nice and simple, roll the shoulders out. If you've been tight or tense energetically or physically, simple motions can be quite healing. Arms to the sky, breathe in. Cactus the elbows, lift the chest, shoulder blades glide down the back body. Twice more, inhale, front ribs pull in. Exhale, cactus. Last one. Exhaling. A little mobility for the neck, reach back, clasp the hands, pull the knuckles down, chin gently up, eyes to the sky, jawline, chin to the sky. Look forward, shoulders wide, chin to chest. And right ear, right shoulder. Unhinge the jaw, chin to chest, left ear, left shoulder. Use the breath without force. One more, adding on chin to chest, right ear, right shoulder. And then turn your gaze gently towards the right shoulder. And chin to chest, left ear, left shoulder. And turn your gaze towards the left shoulder. Ah, so good. Back through center, release. Roll it on up. Tabletop pose. Tuck the toes, float the knees, strong to the core, strong to the hands. Hasta Bandha, Uddiyana Bandha. Back of the skull is lifting to the sky, building the inner heat, Manipura chakra, this place of power, courage. Mm -hmm. Downward facing, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Pedal it out here. Roll the biceps forward, the triceps back. Neck is long, jaw is soft. Awaken the awareness of your body, the calves, the hamstrings, the hips and spine. And lift your heels, sink your hips low, roll forward, plank pose. Firm the legs, maybe rock the heels side to side for three, two, one. Lower the knees down to the earth. Untuck the toes, pelvis grounds, bhujangasana, chest lifts, chin in. Exhale, right cheek down. Shoulders back. Once again, root the pelvis, lift the heart. Grounded, expanding, left cheek lowers. Deep breath in, exhale out. Shoulders loop back, lift the chest, lift the palms, yeah? Tense up on the fingers outside the mat, heart goes high. Right shoulder dips down, ooh yeah. Good, inhale through center in the left. So yes, we're opening chest and pec, which feels so good. Again, but can you notice the rotation in the upper spine? Yeah, that's it. Inhale, center. Lower, stack the palms, rest your third eye. Shoulders relax, bend the knees, navel in. Sway the shin side to side. Releasing the quads and the hips. Come back to your breath. Legs to the earth, hands under the shoulders, fingers wide, breathe in. Plank pose, press the earth away. Up and back, downward facing Adho Mukha Svanasana. Steady the breath, calm the mind. Hands walk to the feet, back to the mat, Uttanasana, generous bend in the knees. Take on an opposite elbow, sway it out, let the neck release, the hips, the spine. Navel in, hands to shins, halfway lift. Strong, flat back like the horizon line. Exhale, fold. Just like that again, inhale, halfway lift. Reach through the crown. Shoulder blades hug back, yeah. Exhale, fold. Strong legs rise up, Urdhva Hastasana. Reach to the sky, firm the glutes. Hands to the heart, close the eyes. And once again, recall that highest self this time standing right in front of you, lovingly gazing back towards you. And who or what is that that peers out of your eyes, that feels in your body and thinks in your mind, that it contemplates, inquires, that experiences life? Remember that you are the universe in you. 
ecstatic motion. Arms to the sky, steeple grip, get tall, tip over to the right, tailbone slightly down. Yeah, inhale center, take it to the left. Opening the body, opening the mind. Inhale center, chair pose, sweep the arms back, shoulder blades squeeze. You can float your 10 toes, clasp the hands, lift the heart. Lower the toes, fold in and down. Knuckles to sky, shoulders lift away from the ears. Bend deeply into left leg, straighten the right, turn the heart to the right. Focus on the breath. Right knee bends, left leg lengthens, heart to left. Yeah, soft, sweet smile, sukha ruka. Sukha is sweet, ruka is face, so sweet face, yeah. Through center, hands down to the shins, halfway lift. Reestablish stability. Plank pose, walk it out. Tiger in the grass. <laughs> Good, full breath in, knees down or not, chaturanga, elbows back. Glide forward, cobra, bhujangasana, or upward facing dog. Firm slightly in the glutes, then pubic bone and navel. Shoulders back and down. Downward facing, up and back. Deep breath in, full breath out. Inhaling, exhaling. Right leg to the sky, sweep it up, strong line of energy. Exhale, knee to nose, curl and press through the fingertips. Swing it over to your left elbow, extend the leg, fall and try the left arm up. Bicep by ear, ribs arc to the sky. Gaze down, plant left palm, right knee, right elbow. Yeah, three legged, reach it high. Big step between the hands. Hop to the fingertips or two blocks. Sink the hips forward, rock the gaze up. Exhale, glide it back like a floating half split. Twice more, forward and down, heart up. Exhale, pull it back. If you're flossing through the hips, yeah, and the hamstrings, mm -hmm. so yummy. Launch it forward into halfway lift, hands to shins. Exhale, fold. Rise to the sky, sweep high. Firm the glutes, open, twist to the right. Inhale up. Ribs in, open the arms like wings to the left. Inhale to sky. Chair pose, sink the hips back and down, waking up the glutes. Now lift the traps, upper shoulders are tight, widen the arms, full breath. Exhale, we fold. Uttanasana, bowing in. Halfway lift as you inhale. Fingertips down, left foot goes way back. Left hand down, right arm reaches forward, up and around. And as you reach back, turn your right toes slightly to the right. Taking these windmills, hugging outer right hip back. Oh, and then pause at the top. So the right toes are slightly out to about one o'clock. Right hip back, opening chest. Gaze down, right hand inside, or right hand inside the right foot, yeah. Wide-legged forward fold, feet parallel, fold in and down. Gentle sway. Maybe a sigh, maybe a moan. Let it go. Inhale, lift up. Hands to hips, bend the knees a little bit, rise slow if you're dizzy, chin to chest. Hands to heart, heels and toes out, sink it low, sway it out. Durgasana, goddess pose. The meeting of strength with fluid motion. Hands to thighs, thumbs forward, breathe in. Right shoulder dips, drive the right knee away. Ooh, yeah. Inhale, center, left shoulder down. Good, stand tall, reach up. Virabhadrasana to front of the mat, right toes pivot forward, ground the back heel, heart right over navel, get long and spacious, and then extend the arms, steady the gaze. Breathing, building that bonfire, that inner Agni to burn away any distraction or dross in the mind. Lean forward, side angle form to thigh, bicep by ear, stretch it long, open up. Yeah. Without collapsing in the right shoulder, full breath. Exhale. Left hand to left thigh or behind the low back, straighten the right leg, reach up and back, breathe in. Mm -hmm. Exhale, plant your palms. Step back, plank pose. Lower the left knee or not, side plank. 
Right arm to the sky. Hips lift, maybe bicep by ear. Option to lift your right leg, bend the knee. Take a little flip of your dog, shift the perspective. Maybe hand behind your skull, lean back, open it up. Gaze to the earth, plank pose, pause. Yeah, go ahead, stabilize, flow it out. Feel into your body, this vessel. Adha Mukha Shanasana. Full breath in, full breath out. Again. Anchor the mind on the motion of the breath. Left leg to the sky, reach it high. Knee to nose, curl in. Left knee, right elbow. Extend the foot, fall in triangle. Right arm lifts to the sky. Bicep by ear, ribs float. Right hand down, gaze down, left knee, left elbow. Excellent, three-legged, reach it high. Step it forward, fingertips are blocks here. Excellent, rock it forward and down, lift the gaze up, ooh, so good. Exhale, hips pull back without force, twice more. Can you have a gentle smirk on your face, delighting and serving and honoring your body? Moving stagnant energy, creating space. Step forward, right foot meets left. That's it, halfway lift. Hold it. Navel and rise up, strong legs, sweep it high. Pubic bone to navel, open standing twist to the left. Yeah, inhale to sky. Take it to the right. Sweep it up. Chair pose, sink it down. Full breath, exhale, we fold. Lengthen on the inhale, fingertips down, right foot goes way back, right hand plants, left arm to the sky. Yeah, then I'll turn your left toes out to about 11 o'clock, oh boy, hips pull back, and then take these big circles with the left arm. Mm -hmm. About three of them. Yeah, and then pause at the top, open a little bit wider, ground the heart. Open the heart. As we ground the heart, we can open it to life, to experience. Gaze down, left hand inside the right of left foot. Wide-legged, feet parallel. Fold in and down, sway it out. Maybe clasp your hands at the tailbone, pull the knuckles high to the sky. Feel the energy in your feet. And then bend your knees, come all the way to stand if you're dizzy, chin to your chest. Arms go high, heels in, toes out. Bend the knees, cactus the elbows. Twice more, reaching up. Exhaling it out. So we can be strong and heart-centered all at the same time, which is quite lovely to think about. It can be done. Good, inhale, reach up. Warrior two, front of the mat. Left toes straight forward, back heel kicks out. Arms, extension of the heart. And breathe. Get tall through the crown, ground the shoulders, strong arms. Reach forward, left forearm to thigh, bicep by ear, Uttita Parsvokonasana. Open the side body without collapsing in left shoulder. Full breath. Gaze down, up and back reverse, right hand to thigh or behind low back, left arm to sky as you straighten the left leg. Mm -hmm. Exhale, hands down to the earth. Good. Plank pose, step back. Option to lower right knee or not. Swivel, Vashisasana. Toes to the left, side plank. Yeah, maybe bicep by ear. Lift, lift, lift. Maybe float the left foot. Step it behind the right calf. Open up, maybe hand behind your beautiful mind to open the heart. Ground the mind. Gaze to the earth. Plank pose, pause. Everything is happening around you and you are truly supported. Right here, feel the earth rise up to meet you. Vinyasa, rinse it up. Elbows back, heart up, shoulders down. Downward facing. Good, full breath in, full breath out. Heels high, sink low, pounce or step forward. Yeah. Halfway lift. 
Hold it down. Standing bouncing, reach it high. Hands to heart, drive left knee up to chest. Balancing with some twisting here. First, figure four, hook left ankle over thigh, open the hips, sink the hips back. Focus here for three. Keep the left ankle flexed, two. One, rise back up, left knee to chest. Root through the right glute. Right hand outside, left knee, left arm back. Great place to stay or extend the leg, catch the outer edge of the foot. Coil the heart to the left. Reach up through the crown. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good. If you wobble, you're human. Back through center. Woo! Hands to heart. Big step back. High crescent. Arms to the sky. Reach it high. Exhale. Full breath. Cactus the elbows. Lift the heart. Good. Reach it up. Open twist to the right. Right arm back. Left arm forward. Stay, reverse it, right hand to thigh, left arm up to the sky, or hook left elbow, prayer twist. Catch a prayer in front of the heart, drive your right knee out to the right, rock high in the left toes, coil the left ribs under the right. Big move, take it slow, gaze down, plant your hands to the left of your right foot, skandasana to the left, so walk your hands Towards your left toes, bending the left knee, right toes to the sky, find a little pulse here. Hmm. Yeah, good. Gaze forward, lizard pose. Walk it back forward, hands to the left of right foot. Option to stay or lower the back knee. Maybe, please be mindful, come on the outer edge of your right foot or reach the right hand back, catch a bind. Left foot presses into your right hand. Open the chest, twisting, rotating. Hmm, maybe a moan, let it go. Release, frame the right foot, shorten the stance, pyramid pose. So short, wide stance, fingertips or blocks. Steer right hip back and fold it in now. Maybe wave up and down. Mm -hmm. Maybe give your little leg. Nice little kiss, yeah. And gratitude and appreciation. Good, look forward, step left foot to meet right, nice and simple, halfway lift. Fold to release. Navel in, rise it high, you got it. From the glutes, hands to heart, shifting sides, right knee rises up to the chest, one leg at Tadasana, find your drishti, the focus of the eyes, to focus the mind, Hook right ankle over left thigh, hips glide back, shoulders stay broad. Breathe, three breaths. Navel in. Take yourself less seriously. Right leg hugs up to the chest, stand tall. Revolve Shiva, left hand to the outer right knee, right arm back. Reach up through the crown, stay here, catch the outer edge of the foot. So, Shiva is known as the goddess of destruction, right? And in that destruction, like a forest burning down, we can often kind of wallow in the grief of it or the sadness of it. But remember, a lot of times things need to burn down to rebuild, come back to center, hands to heart, so new life can take root. Extend it back, high crescent, reach it high. Ground the body. The more that we experience life, the more that we experience that, right? The, the taking away, and then we see again and again, there's new life, inhale. Cactus the elbows, lift the heart. Opening the heart, trusting, trusting, trusting. Reach high, ribs in, open twist to the left. Yeah, left hip pulls back, good. Stay or reverse, left hand to right thigh, right arm up to the sky, booty on a bond, the navel in strong as you rotate and twist. Palms in prayer, rock forward, hug it in. Breathe through the experience. Remember the earth is here to support you. Yeah, okay. gaze it to the earth. Both hands to the right of the left foot, turn to the right, skandasana, right toes turn out, left toes to the sky, stay high if the knees are tender or if that inner groin feels tight. That's plenty for me. <laughs> 
Big breath in. Look forward. Pivot forward. Both hands to the right of the left foot. Lizard pose. Gently land right knee. Yeah, you've been moving quite quickly. Can you slow the breath back down? Option to come on the outer edge of left foot. Bend the right knee. Catch it behind. Reach back. Now if the hamstring are near, speaking to you, please back off. And twist it. Rotate it. Soft eyes. Yeah. Trusting you're right where you need to be. This is where life has you. What are you learning in this moment of your life? Hands down. Lift your right knee. Frame the left foot and step wide and in with the right pyramid pose. Steer the left hip back. Breathe in. Bow. Twice more. Every breath, there's an element of nourishment to your body, this vessel. Look forward, step forward, right foot meets left. Halfway lift. Hold it in. Rinse it out, stand tall. Hands to heart, last chair pose. Yeah, reach it up. Hold it down. Lengthen. Vinyasa, and step to plank or hop to chaturanga. Lift the heart, downward facing. Good, right leg to sky, stay or bend and stack open, square shoulders, pigeon pose, right knee to right wrist. We're gonna take active pigeon. So land the left knee where it comes down without scooting it back. Walk fingertips back or come to blocks. Then maybe you lift the chest, right hip back, left hip forward, hugging in and up. Maybe open the arms. Breathing here. Feeling. Yeah. Hands down, lengthen the left leg back, supporting your right hip with cushion. That serves you lower to the earth. And if this doesn't work, recline pigeon on your back body. Soften the shoulders, slow the breath. Hmm. Just inhale, lift your forehead. Plant the palms, fingers wide, tuck your left toes, lift the left knee, plank pose, hold. If you want to flow, go for that. Or hurry home, downward facing. Mm, brilliant. Lovely work. Left leg to sky. Stay or bend and stack open, square your shoulders. And come forward, active pigeon, left knee, left wrist. Land the knee work. Lands, yeah. Walk the hands or fingertips back, blocks. Hug left hip back, right hip forward, and in and up. Yeah, reach the arms back. Mm, so feeling that stability, that hugging in of the earth energy up through the pelvis, through your root, root chakra, muladhara. And at the same time, feeling how those roots allow you to open up into the heart, throat, the eyes, the mind. Oh, and then back to the earth. Yeah, right leg lengthens long, lowering down slow. Soften the shoulders and the eyes. Experience the breath. Notice how good it feels to take slow, luxurious breath. A gift to breathe. Control the breath back to the palms. Just notice the pauses in between them. Tuck your right toes, lifting the knee. Plank, step it back strong. If you'd like a bit of final vinyasa, rinse it out. Right home, downward facing. 
left leg. You can either lower the knees to take a seat or walk or hop forward, crossing at the ankles. Good. Boat pose. Hold behind your thighs, lift your chest. Yeah, good. Just here for a moment. Maybe the arms go forward. Maybe the legs go up. Maybe the arms go up. Fine. Your choice. Tune back into that discernment. Keep lifting up through the spine for three, two. Plant the feet. Arms sweep back behind the hips. Shoulders back. Reverse tabletop. Hips high. Mm -hmm. Ground the feet. Ground the palms. Firm the glutes. Open the heart. Lower the hips. Wrap your arms close around your shins. Chin in. As if your highest self is whispering this to you out loud or in your mind's eye. I hear you. I see you. I respect you. I forgive you. I love you. the arms forward, maybe have hands behind thighs, gently recline onto the back, head rests, knees in, little rock side to side, small circles, yeah, self-love here baby, good, plant the feet, hip width apart, arms by the sides, navel in, bridge pose, hips lift, now we'll be here for a little while, and you are more than welcome to stay or slide a block under the sacrum. Or if it's feeling called to you and the body is saying yes, and the heart and the mind. Option for full wheel, fingers face the shoulders, elbows to the sky, breathing in. Use the strength of the legs and then exhale, lift up. Turn the feet parallel, maybe rock high in the tiptoes and think pubic bone to navel. Thigh bones parallel, moving the back bend into the upper spine for three for two, and then gently bend the elbows, lower the back of the head, the shoulders, the upper spine, the mid, and the hips and glutes to the earth, pause, arms open, receive. A little rock of the knees, right and left. Maybe the head rocks in the opposite direction of the knees. Beautiful. Navel and hands to kneecaps. Exhale, knees in. Inhale, knees out. Comes Apanasana to neutralize the low back, to move energy in the body. And then circle out the knees like you're rowing a boat. Yeah. Both directions here. Right chin in, left leg to the earth, long. Take a twist, knee to left, gaze right. Navel in through center. Simple, left knee in, yeah, right leg long. That's it. Exhale, twist, knee across the body, look gently to the left. And just slow the breathing down. Navel in through center, knees in, legs to the sky, waterfall. A little bend in the knees so we're not straining in the hamstrings, hands to belly or down by the sides. Five slow breaths. Relax your face, your eyes. Throat. And then gently bend the knees, legs long to the earth, take up space, a few moments of stillness and the gift of Shavasana, I like to call this the sacred pause, to simply be let the shoulders widen and the jaw relax. Take a full breath in through your nose. 
and a full sigh out. Ah. Again, breathing in through the nose and full exhale out. And one more like that, breathing in, filling up, let it go. Giving yourself a few moments to just be in this gift. today's practice, I encourage you to rest as long as you need, to pause and receive. And if you wish to close, you can gently plant the feet and roll to one side and ease your way up to a seated position, but by no means. Don't feel rushed or obligated. And bringing the palms to the center of the heart to invite compassion and peace into your inner world, into your mind, to the heart, and to remember that not only do we practice for our own benefit, but to have perhaps become more loving, kind, considerate human being. And with love and reverence to ourselves, to one another, to this practice and the origins in which it has come and how it has called us, we bow to that with gratitude. Thank you so, so much for joining me today. I hope that served your body and your mind. Um, until next time, be well, blessings.